Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So this is the Feotech AK2000 DSLR gimbal. I'm going to cover three different things in this video. I'm going to give you an unboxing of what comes with this gimbal. I'm going to give you an overview of all the features and capability of that. And then finally, at the end of the video, I'm going to cover some of the sample footage using this gimbal as well with my Sony a7 III. So let's just get straight into it. let's go ahead and open this case now this looks like a very heavy duty military case it actually comes with some uh, switches here to lock this as well so you can just lock that on both sides much like a briefcase so let's go ahead and open that up so inside we have uh, quite a few things so we've got the uh, gimbal stabilizer itself right there in the middle it also comes with a, a release plate with some measurements on both sides Right, so these are the various uh, camera adapters for Sony, Panasonic, Canon and Nikon. So they pretty much cover everything for whichever DSLR camera that you have. It also comes with the metal tripod. So this is a very solid, strong metal tripod that you can use as a handheld grip as well if you need to. It also comes with four rechargeable Feotech batteries. Each of them is 2200 milliamp hours. And then alongside that, you also have the uh, battery charger. So you can charge this up and get this running straight away. So in the box under the charger, so you have the release plate screws and the uh, compartment that goes under the screw as well for the plate. And also the uh, charging cable for the uh, battery pack. So that's everything that comes in the uh, box. So let's go ahead and set this up. Okay, so I've just set up my Sony a7 III onto the gimbal. It was pretty straightforward. It's like any other electronic gimbal. You can just put in the release tray and then just set it up with the different axes. I really like that they've got the measurements on each of the plates. So you can actually see for next time when you want to use it again, what measurements it was to balance your camera. Now to give you an overview of the actual gimbal itself, it's actually 1.2 kilograms in weight, which is actually pretty light. In terms of like carrying it, obviously it depends on the weight of your camera. But in all in all, it's heavy duty, but it's still light to carry. And I feel very comfortable. It's got a very strong grip. If you have a look at something like the DJI Ronin S, which is 1.8 kilograms, this is a whole 600 grams lighter. So it's a massive difference and it's very good to carry around in uh, long filming sessions and photography sessions and that kind of stuff. In terms of the payload, it can uh, compensate for up to 2.8 kilograms of weight for your DSLR cameras which is pretty good for most DSLR cameras that you're gonna be doing. Of course, I wouldn't recommend to have very large, heavy lenses on your camera because it will redistribute the weight and it might be a little bit awkward when you're using it. But nonetheless, I can see myself using this for my Sony a7 III going forward. Now, in terms of the battery life, it took about maybe two hours to get the uh, four batteries to be charged fully from flat. And it gives you 12 hours of uh, battery life when you're using the gimbal, so that's a whole day's worth of shooting if you're doing weddings or any other cinematography then this is perfect for that so one thing i really like about the ak2000 is that it comes with so many different shooting options so it's got about seven different follow modes in there which i'm going to cover in a second but the thing that stands out the most to me is that it comes with this lcd screen it's a touch screen so it really makes it easier for you to see the display and control functions from your camera using either wi-fi or bluetooth directly onto the gimbal makes it so much easier rather than trying to look at your LCD screen on your camera and trying to figure out, you know, is it in the right place? Does it look good? And you're all of a sudden controlling in different places. And the other thing that I really like is that, that you can use the Feotech app on this using Bluetooth and then you can use the Wi-Fi on your DSLR camera, depending of the compatibility, of course and have them both controlling the gimbal separately exactly the same time. So I can use the uh, Bluetooth on my phone to control the gimbal wirelessly from a distance, and I can also use the Wi-Fi to control the functions using the uh, buttons and the LCD screen here. So that's really awesome to have on any gimbal, but that's what you're gonna find on the AK2000. All right, so let's go ahead and power this on, and then I'll give you an overview of all of the buttons and the functions that this uh, gimbal can do. Okay guys, so as you can see here on the uh, LCD screen, you have the options here for the Wi-Fi connection. If you have a compatible DSLR camera, you can connect that so you can use the uh, buttons here to control it. Bluetooth, obviously, to pair with the uh, Feotech app, and I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download the app. 
you can always see the battery percentage here which is really good so that's one thing I've always uh, lacked with other gimbals I've used in the past is to actually realize you know how much percentage left in the uh, actual gimbal as well before it runs up so that's pretty good HF this is the uh, horizontal follow I will show you all the different types of follow modes in a second but this is how you can see what mode it's currently on then you also have the uh, camera icon where you can see if it's on uh, shooting mode or video mode. Then on the bottom left here you have the uh, follow focus or the zoom options. And on the right hand side here is the axis state. So this axis state will allow you to use the knob here on the left and it will tilt the uh, camera in various different directions which I'll also give you a demo in a second. So on the top right hand side here you have the power button. On the bottom here you have the uh, shoot button. So obviously if you are recording film then you press that and it will start recording video. Then on the bottom left you have the camera button to take pictures and on the top left here is the mode button to switch between multiple working modes. Then you also have the joystick to manually control how the gimbal is rotating and then on the right hand side of the gimbal you have a USB port here to connect any adapters directly to your camera or even if you have something that will charge the camera directly then you can use that from this. And this button here is the lock button for the LCD screen. So when you press that, you'll see a red square around the LCD screen. So just like that, you'll see that it's now locked and I can't do anything with this because it's now in a locked position. So this is when you're actually in shooting and you don't want to accidentally press anything whilst you're filming. So that will prevent that. So to unlock it, you just press that again. Now having a look at the back, you'll see that this is a shortcut button. So this will allow you to switch between different types of uh, settings such as selfie modes or getting the gimbal to recenter itself back to its normal state. Right, so to give you an idea of the axis state options here, which is the bottom right one on the LCD screen, this will give you the control of the knob here on the left hand side to actually use either the horizontal axis or the vertical axis or the tilt axis. So right now it's on the horizontal one. So if I twist this, you'll see that the uh, camera and the gimbal is smoothly moving left and right, retaining the horizontal position. Now if I press it again, it will change to the vertical one, and this will basically now start using this to pan up and down vertically, as such. And then the last one is the tilt one, so you can see that this will go side to side in sort of like an inception kind of mode. Right, a couple of other things that you can do using the LCD screen. You have the option to swipe left and see some more options. So from here you can change the ISO and also the exposure settings as well. When you uh, swipe to the right, you have various different options here to go through. So you can change actually the uh, payload settings as well, so to match whatever camera you're using. So you just go back by swiping left. You also have the options to change the scroll settings and obviously the capture mode I've set this to smooth so that the uh, gimbal is very good in its cinematic footage. If you're recording anything fast paced then obviously you can use the action mode there. Now auto rotation is pretty cool. You can set the position in one particular place on the actual gimbal. When you press OK you have the option to set the ending position and it will give you a very slow time lapse movement from position 1 to position 2 giving you a sort of time lapse uh, moment. So when you swipe left, you have the option to change the different types of white balance options they have. So that's pretty cool as well. So loads of different options there. Obviously there's nothing there for changing the aperture just yet, but obviously that may come in a future version of the Feotech gimbals. All right, so just to give you an overview of the different types of working modes. So starting off with the default one, which is the horizontal follow, that will say HF on the LCD screen. This will basically allow you to just pan left and right. So when you're going up and down, you'll see that the uh, camera is still facing forwards. The second one is tilt follow. Now you press the uh, mode button here twice. So two presses and it will turn into tilt follow mode. And that will say TF on the LCD screen. Now what that will do is that will allow you to tilt the camera upwards and downwards. And then also when you're going left and right, it will try and give you that smooth action to stay looking forward. So you can see it's tilting as its priority. The third one is all follow. So you triple press the mode button and now it will enable all of the axes to be uh, in use. So whether you go left, right, up, down, you'll see that the uh, camera is going in all directions. The fourth one is lock. So this is pretty uh, straightforward. So when you press the uh, mode button once after it goes back to horizontal follow mode, then uh, you can also 
have it locked in one particular position so you can see the camera is facing you guys so wherever you move it it will always lock in that one position and this is particularly useful if you're trying to record a subject or a person in front of you in a, a particular position maybe walking in front of you in one direction and then that will uh, give you really smooth footage on that now there's two other modes which are very similar to the previous modes i've mentioned which you might not ever use the first one is hfr now that's horizontal follow plus roll now what that does is if you go into hf mode by pressing the mode button once then press the uh, power button once that will on the lcd screen show you hfr now what that does is it enables the uh, horizontal uh, pan axis but also gives you the roll as well which basically means it rolls the cameras left and right like this now obviously not really sure what situations you might be in to actually record that way but nonetheless if you are going to use that then uh, you have the option to do so the next one is lkr now that's lock mode plus roll now that basically locks the camera facing in, in a single direction but then it also enables the rolling as well so it's not fully locked it's just got that one lock position maybe if you're creating like an inception type video where you're just tilting it sideways like that then you'll get the option to do that as well so again probably never going to use that but it's there if you need to so i'll double press to go back to the center and it will reset to horizontal focus now the last mode is the selfie mode so if you want to tilt it around to face yourself then just hit the power button three times and it will turn around like so so fairly straightforward again if you want to return back double press the button at the back and it will turn back to the middle facing forwards so those are the seven different modes that you can use to shoot video uh, using this gimbal. Right, last but not least, how does the video come out using this gimbal? So I've taken this out. I've uh, got some footage. I've got some clips to show you now of actually how this performs. So let me know what you guys think and let's just get straight into it.
Right, so I hope you enjoyed that video guys. Now just to finish off, this comes in at $379, but I have a 10% discount code for all of you guys. I'll leave that in the description below. So check that out and get yourself a massive saving. I'll also leave a link in the description to where you can find out more information and complete user guide about this gimbal. And they do worldwide shipping as well. So that's really awesome from uh, Fayotech. So if there's any other questions you have, then uh, please do drop a comment below. Otherwise, check out all of the social links below from Fayotech and from myself. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe. I've got another short film coming out that's shot completely with this uh, Fayotech AK2000, which I know you're going to like. So until next time, guys, I will catch you then. Take care.